NSFW sex ed teachers of Reddit, what is the most awkward, cringeworthy question you've had to answer in your class? Not a sex ed teacher. But when I was in health we had a younger and fairly attractive female teacher. One of the guys in my class thought it would be funny to ask her favorite flavor of condom. She just smiled and said strawberry. None of us expected it. I'm not sure if the guy creamed himself from the mental image or wanted to die from embarrassment. But it was a great class. Not a teacher. But we had note cards and wrote questions anonymously. One asked. If both partners have long pubes, will they get tangled? How do you untangle them? And honestly, I never thought of that. The sound of opening Velcro. Not a teacher, but this happened years ago in my old elementary school and I heard about it. Teacher, remember girls, it is always okay to say no to sex. Girl, can I even say no to my daddy? He went to jail. Boy kid asked what if it gets stuck? Well, one time my friend's mom had a friend who had braces and was giving her husband a blow. Ended up having to go to the hospital to get his foreskin unattached from her braces. I miss five seconds ago when I hadn't read that. Ha. A nun taught us sex ed. One of the lads asks her if when you stick it in do you just hold it there or do you wiggle it or what. She turned red and informed him it was an inappropriate question. So what's the real answer? Asking for a friend. Stick it in and maintain eye contact for as long as possible. We had a girl in our class ask our science teacher when did she lose her virginity. She answered when I first had sex. I teach 11 to 13 year olds. All subjects. I was explaining the functions of spontaneous erection to a group of 40 12 year old boys. As you develop, and even into your adulthood, you will sometimes develop an erection at times that seem inappropriate. Just know that it's normal and while it can be embarrassing, it does not necessarily mean that you are sexually attracted to anything or anyone at that time. Boy in the front row with his hand up. I have an erection right now. Is that normal? Once asked the question to a group of year 9 students. What do you do if you want to have sex and you can't find a condom? Student 1 male. Surely you can find something in your house. Maybe cling film. Student 2 female. Yeah. Or maybe tinfoil. Tin foil. Like a little suit of armor. A kid in my class asked what is the stuff that girls orgasm out if males is sperm. Teacher said that girls don't ejaculate. The kid responded no they do I've seen it on the internet. I'm a teacher in year 6 10 and 11 years olds in the UK. It's the first year that children really learn and talk about sex in school. We had arrived at the actual sexual intercourse lesson where we focus on the science of conception. One boy out his hand up and said that there were, of course, sounding worldly wise, ways of having sex without getting pregnant. I nodded approvingly as I thought we were going to start talking about contraception. Yes, he says. You can stick your penis between a woman's breasts and then come on her chest. I suppose he isn't wrong. Hard to get pregnant like that. Took me by surprise though. During our sex education in the early 90s which amounted to one hour of dividing the boys and girls of each grade, taking them into their respective classrooms, and going over very broad topics, we were allowed to anonymously ask additional questions we had by writing them on a flashcard and passing them to the front. I asked what would happen if a boy peed inside a girl. I watched as my flashcard was silently read by the teacher, then unceremoniously thrown away without being answered. To this day, I still don't know. So I teach high school biology and there is the sex unit. The public school district I teach in a super conservative. So I did my lesson. No one asked questions. One boy came up to me and said he was uncut and he had some white stuff that smelled and what could he do to get rid of it. So I told him what it was smegma and he needed to ask his parents that procedure. Not a teacher, but someone in sex ed asked, is a penis considered a bone? In humans no, but many species actually have a supporting bone in the penis known as the baculum. Not a sex ed teacher, but a 7th grade classroom teacher. I had one boy ask me, Mr. XXX, you know boobs, right? As he cupped his hands in front of his chest. I nodded. I'm sorry. I know this is a bad word, he said. But I don't know any other way to say it. A boobs. Full of cum. 
like everyone else here commenting, not a teacher but took sex ed once in middle school. A boy in our class during the ask an anonymous question part of the lecture asked what size dildo the teacher uses. She didn't read the question out loud, but scolded the class for asking inappropriate questions. I only knew what was on the card because the boy who wrote it told his friends and they were all dying of laughter about it. Also, the teacher's son was in our class and among that friend group. He wasn't laughing. I teach fifth grade. This is the time for the big talk in Indiana. I was roughly about seven months pregnant. I was unmarried but engaged. My fiancé was a pretty active participant in my classroom so all the kids knew him. He came on the field trip due to not having a male teacher available to go to supervise the boys. In Indiana, we still teach abstinence only. In the middle of the lesson, the instructor basically tells the kids that conception takes place after sex which can only happen after marriage. 30 seconds later, eyes are on me, and a hand shoots up. One of my fabulous tiny humans blurts out. That can't be true, Mrs. Smith isn't married and she is pregnant right now. How did that happen then? I'm pretty sure the instructor would have killed me in that moment had she been able to. And this was my TED talk on how I ruined the abstinence education by being pregnant and unmarried. OMG I'll never forget a question a girl asked in my sex ed class. Probably 7th grade. Girl. Does P ever come out instead of semen when a man ejaculates? Teacher. No. When a man ejaculates it is only semen. Girl. Okay. But what if P came out instead of semen? Teacher. That's not physically possible. As it's a separate system with urine versus semen. Girl. But what if it happened? Teacher. It can't happen. Girl. But what if it did? Not a teacher. But in grade 7 we had a box where you could anonymously submit questions. One or two would be read at the end of class each day. My teacher pulled a question that read. What are anal beads? The whole class burst out laughing including our teacher and he just kinda threw away the piece of paper and said that we all clearly knew what anal beads were. But just in case they are sex toys. We were very promptly dismissed after that. My daughter is a high school health teacher. When I told her there's a Reddit question directed at her she gave me these. 1. Why do I feel happy in my pants when I see a girl? 2. Is it true that a guy's balls will explode if he doesn't come? Most common question. Can you get pregnant from anal sex? I was one of the pupils. But this still sticks out in my mind. Not so much for being a funny question. But for the stupid answer. A boy asked what would happen if a woman put a tampon in the wrong way. So the string didn't come out. All we got was well. It has to come out somehow. Dot. We were left in suspense. As the teacher and nurse moved on to the next question. Was it some medical emergency or not? I guess the idea of telling 10-year-old boys about girls putting anything besides penises and tampons into vaginas deviated too far from what was appropriate. We weren't meant to know that fingers could go up there yet for any reason. I am not a teacher. Back in grade school, one of my classmates asked the teacher during the sex education lessons about why his dad put fingers in his butthole, then made him cry, but still loves him. The student disappeared the next day. I only realized it years later. Somebody asked how he could get an orgasm. Simple. Go to the orgasm store. One orgasm please. That'll be $25. Whoa man, you're paying way too much for your orgasms. Who's your orgasm guy? I asked the teacher how the sperm got into a woman, and if she had to drink it from a cup to get pregnant. I have an anecdote for this. Back when I was a senior in high school, there was a big fuss happening in the school because apparently, there were two freshman students that decided to be a little naughty during class while the lights were out for a movie or something. Now, the method of naughtiness was either a good old handy, or a proper BJ, depending on who you heard the story from. Normally, no one would have known about this even happening, because apparently no one in the class actually saw it happen. The whole school only found out after the girl on the giving end of this special favor told her mother she thought she was pregnant because she swallowed lil dudes lil dudes. Mom, naturally freaked out, and went straight to the principal, and it somehow got around to the rest of the school after that I always assumed that a student aide in the office heard the story and spread it around the school. The story going around school coincided perfectly with that year's yearbooks being circulated. So within a couple hours everyone in the school knew exactly who it was.
One of my favorite moments from my high school days. We had health as part of our P class, and they always got the P teachers to teach it. And of course one week of it was sex ed. We had this dumb football coach who basically read us the textbook for a week rather than actually deal with the subject. Not really because of any squeamishness but mostly because it wasn't related to football, and that's all he cared about. I didn't know it was possible to make sex boring until I sat through that week of school. All of us were dozing off or just daydreaming. But the last day, someone raised their hand and said, Hey coach, how do you have sex? What's the process? Obviously, they were messing with the guy. The coach said, Ah, uh, ah, uh, um, ah, uh, um, ah, uh, well, ah, uh, um, okay, so you got a donut and a banana, and goes on to tell us about how that would work. It was so bizarre. Don't have sex, because you will get pregnant and die. Don't have sex in the missionary position. Don't have sex standing up. Just don't do it. Okay, promise. Okay, now everybody take some rubbers. At your age, you're going to have a lot of urges. You're going to want to take off your clothes and touch each other. But if you do touch each other, you will get chlamydia and die. Questions from the sex ed class one attended in seventh grade. Why don't people only have sex to make a baby then? You know, maybe they should. Why not wear two condoms? That isn't a bad thought. No, there was no. You shouldn't do that afterward. How big does a vagina get during birth? about 13 inches in circumference. The new, incompetent science teacher who was watching the principal teach the actual class went wide-eyed at the tape measure wrapped around showing how big that was, and she took it next door. The teacher next door announced her pregnancy to students a couple months later. No doubt. Shit show teacher was like your vagina's gonna get this big. Holy shit. Thanks. Southern US education system. Thanks. Oh, and the students definitely got a stern talk since some kids were caught joking about knowing what Mrs. Nope has been doing every night after school. Not a teacher, but way back in grade 6 we had sex ed and the teacher had us write down questions on paper one day. She told us not to put our names because the next day we will be drawing the questions out of a hat to read aloud and then the teacher would answer them. So, the next day, and my turn comes up to draw a question. I pull the paper out of the hat and begin reading can women masturbate with a pillow between their legs. Signed a female classmate's name. Whoops. Shouldn't have read that part. We had a teacher do the same thing. The teacher read the questions. She goes what is a chilly willy? She hems and haws. One kid raises his hand and goes it's when your girlfriend chews on crushed ice then gives you head. And that was my question thanks. Not a teacher, but heard two amazing questions. Fifth grade sex ed. Student. Why does my mom scream during sex? Teacher. She's having fun. 10th grade safe sex education, female student, if you're having anal sex, and the guy comes inside you, and then you fart, does it blow bubbles, teacher, next question, when I was in 6th or 7th grade, the school messed up and didn't pull a kid out of class whose parents had requested, they accidentally exposed a bunch of his parents lies, among them being gay gives you AIDS, and masturbating causes cancer, his parents went nuts and pulled him out of public school after that. Does the vagina stay giant after a baby? Your queefs are now size. Had a classmate ask if he could use a water b-a-l-o-o-n as a condom. The point of a water balloon is to break and spill its contents. That is the exact opposite of the point of a condom. Next question. <laughs>